The Clover Hill JV season continues on as the Cavaliers travel over to James River to take on the Rapids. Cavaliers receiving the opening kickoff, and Tim Thaniel picks it up. He'll carry it 70 yards, dodging tacklers all along the way, but a yellow flag flies in the air. Thaniel's touchdown run will be called back on an illegal block. And that'll set the Cavaliers back up on offense, deep in their own territory. But Dante Artis finds 12 yards, cutting through some Rapids defenders. And then it's Jamarcus Dobson on a nice 24-yard run. He'll take that one around the left side, getting some good blocks. And then it's Jalen Wood, eight yards on the keeper. Dodges several tacklers, finds some room up the middle, and he carries on with the Cavalier drive. John Davis around the end, touchdown Cavaliers. They're quickly on the board. Jamarcus Dobson, extra point, that one's blocked. And that'll set them up with a six point lead early in the game. Delay a game call on the kickoff, couldn't quite figure this one out. Couple of whistles blow, he had his arm out in front of him. We're not sure really what happened there, but anyway, back on with the action. The Cavalier defense holds against the Rapids. They're forced to punt back, and it's Tim Thaniel again on the return. Nearly loses his balance, but gathers it back up, and he'll add on about 10 more yards on the carry. Dante Artis cuts around the left side, finds a little breathing room. He adds on about three yards. Tim Thaniel will find a gap up the middle off the nice block from John Piercy. He adds on about five yards with a fumble by Jalen Wood. He'll pick it up, though, and even gains a yard or two on that one. Then it's a 28-yard pass from Wood to Artis, and the Cavs are threatening once again. Artis will get thrown for a loss on his next carry, and the Rapids defenders looking like they've stepped up the action. Wood looks to throw, but he tucks the ball and puts the Cavs back inside the 10-yard line. And that'll end the first quarter. Penalties move the Cavaliers back, bringing up a fourth down and 12 to the goal line. Wood scrambling hits John Davis, who looks like he drives it in, but uh, it's marked at the one-inch line, and you watch this one in slow-mo. Have to give it to the refs on this one. He was right on top of the action, and that was a pretty good call there. Just inches out of the end zone. Cavalier defense comes back out looking for the safety, but the Rapids are able to move upfield. And it'd be Keith Davis, Andy Inman, Kyle Moorhead, all making crucial stops for the Cavaliers on this drive. Kyle Drake makes the ankle grab and gets a little help from Brian Stith and Jamarcus Dobson. That forced the Rapids to punt away. Dante Artis on the run and on the tackle. Flags, flags fly for a face mask, but it would be waved off. And I'll let you make the call on this one. Looks like he might have got him at first there and then maybe came off of it. Hard to tell, but the call was waved off. Wood goes for the bomb, but Tim Thaniel just can't pull this one in. And then it's Wood on the run. Finds Artis down the sideline, and the Cavaliers are back on the move. Dante Artis adding on some extra yardage before he's finally struggled to the ground. Jalen Wood will take it up the middle for a first down. And then Thaniel mishandles the handoff, and the Rapids will recover on the fumble. Ian Dorn hangs on to keep the Rapids to a short gain on their possession. And Peyton Grider making the hard hit. And Brian Stith and Jamarcus Dobson on the assist. Cavalier defense stopping James Rivers' ground attack. So they will go to the air and they will find success on this one. The long pass downfield. Touchdown Rapids. They'll come out for the field goal. And on the kick, it bounces off the post, and that'll leave the teams tied up at six. After a short kickoff return, Cavalier offense back on the field. Wood finding a little running room, bouncing off of several Rapids defenders. Then he shoots one over to Thaniel. Thaniel getting out of bounds, stopping the clock. Clock running down in the first half. Then it's Wood again on the run, finds John Davis. Davis trying to get it up the field, but a whole host of Rapids defenders swarm him. That'll bring an end to the first half of play. Rapids with the ball in the second half, and but a couple of hard stops by Kyle Drake and the Cavalier defense holds the line and forced the Rapids to punt away. Deontay Struther, Dwight Holmes, and Dante Artis, along with John Davis coming off the field for the Cavalier defense. Cavaliers find a little success on their drive as well, try to fake the punt, but Daniel gets nothing on this one, and an eerie October moon shines through the clouds over the swamp as the Rapids offense comes back out on the field. Stops by the Cavaliers and penalties will find James River with a third and 15. And they will go back to the air on this one. And it'll be success once again for the Rapids as they find the end zone on the pass play. 
And that'll give them the six-point lead. They go for the two-point conversion, but it's a fumble. And that one is stopped. So it stays at 12 to 6 with 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Cavalier offense with the ball back after the kick, and they'll make the last play of the third quarter a successful one. A good one for the Cavaliers as Tim Thaniel on the run dodges rapid defender and takes the ball all the way to the James River seven yard line, a 78 yard run. Jalen Wood on the carry will put the Cavaliers inside the 10 yard line after they were forced back a couple times. Cavalier cheerleaders say watch this and it's John Davis on the carry. His second touchdown of the night even with the face mask by the Rapids he gets it in. The extra point attempt is no good and the teams are tied back up at 12 with plenty of time left in the fourth quarter. Jamarcus Dobson kicks it deep on this one for the touchback, and that'll put the rapid offense back out on the field. But they turn the ball over, number 88, Brian Stiff, with the interception, and that'll put the Cavaliers right back out on the field and on the drive. Cavalier offense gains little ground. The Rapids defense will hold ground. Cheerleaders trying to spur on their Cavalier offense but they'll be forced to punt away, and Michael Armstrong getting off a good punt here, even off the low snap, and it's Peyton Grider with some assistance making the stop on the return. Cavaliers would take the ball right back, though. Brian and Stiff picking off another one and missed both of them on the film. Sorry about that, Brian, but we're going to give you credit anyway. Picking off two interceptions on the night. Cavaliers on the drive. They find Dante Artis. Artis trying to get out of bounds. He stops the clock. 31 seconds left in the game. Then it's Wood finding John Davis. Davis trying to turn it upfield and get out of bounds, but he stopped. That'll force Cavaliers to take a timeout. Coach Conklin coming out and having some words with the referee about the time on the clock. Finally get that adjusted. Wood on the scramble. He gets intercepted by the Rapids. They'll kneel it. That'll force the team into overtime. And with that, the Rapids score on their first play. They'll try the extra point. That one's good. And that'll set the Cavaliers up for a four-chance drive from the 10-yard line. That's the rule for overtime. Each team getting a chance from the 10-yard line. Cavaliers stopped on their first couple of drives. That'll bring up fourth down. They have to get this one in, and Jalen Wood does just that. Touchdown, Cavaliers. And after missing both extra points on the night, they go for the two-point conversion and the win. The pass from Wood intercepted by the Rapids, and the Rapids hand the Cavaliers their second loss of the season. James River, 19, Clover Hill, 18.